Hey everybody and welcome back. So, in this one I'm just going to be heading to uh, Albert Cokes to go and buy a uh, pre-made pre, pre -made house or pre-built house or whatever you call it. No. I'm going there to buy something, not to rob the place. Don't need all this. I'm just gonna mosey on in here. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. Oh. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Okay, let's uh, speed up. Yeah, so I think this is a pretty long mission, if I recall. Uh, hopefully it's also the one where I actually build the, uh, the house. Is your friend a negro or a red skin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. <laughs> wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from A you weapon. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. 
When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. You were gonna say. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, I'm putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Viking blood. The fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. They won't be free. They won't even be cheap. But they'll be worth what you pay. I've already bought a house and hired you today. So might as well keep spinning while I'm at it. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Acquired some tools from Nils. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talk. Oh, by all means, my bearded uh, friend. There he is, working away. Nils! Nils, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. What a nice man. Whew. Okay. With a <laughs> decent grasp of the English language. All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Well, oh! Everyone find some cover. Yeah, he really offered peace of mind. Oh no you don't. Nice try. Oh, headshot. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on! They got me! Mr. Devin! Mr. Oh, Mr. Smith! Help! Help! Help me! You mean? 
get past them! They climbed up in the trees! Shoot the ones up there first! Okay, let's move! He took him down the hill! No, no, you don't. Keeping him to the tree. What is that? Oh, it's one of the tools. Is it? Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, sooner we get out of here, the better. Although we did just kill a small army's worth of people, so. Yeah, I think we just made enemies for life. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Get it? Everyone knows. <laughs> Except me! Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. No use. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Here, Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Well, at least one of the guys survived. All right, let's get out of here. Lord, what'd they do to him? Nothing nice. <laughs> Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. And that was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Well, Uncle! we can hope. Uncle! Uh, uh, uh. Uncle! I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, 
We'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And next mission up should be building the house, I think. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. I changed the outfit, but there's no point, is there? Is this, you know, if I die you have to restart, then it's only gonna change it back to what it's meant to be, I guess. Oh well. And next mission is... Ah, what did I do there? Okay, a headshot all Skinner Brothers hiding up trees. I uh, didn't do that. Uh, complete using only sidearms. Mm, did I use a rifle? Yeah, I might have. Find Mr. Vane within 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Complete the mission without uh, taking any health items. Yeah, cool. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got? Which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Oh yeah, this is pretty fun to do. I like this one.
saw in a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Well, we're getting pretty close to the setting of the first game. I mean, he's got his house. Not much of a ranch at the moment, but, you know, he's got a house. And then there he is, John Marston. Every time I see that outfit, I'm just like, God damn, so many good memories of that first game. And obviously it just shows that you know, they can actually just add it into this if they ever choose to. Uncle, Remaster it. I thought yeah. you was... Where the hell? Uh, let me go and see. So he's somewhere around here. Somewhere. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but 
They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? <laughs> <laughs> you buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. So I assume we buy we, we pay off most of the money. Like John owes the bank. In the black water. Let's go. Because you know, he does. He is basically like away from majority of that first now, game. This fella probably saw you. Thought, so some corn husky, safe to assume some there's no payments going to the bank then. He must pay it I'm off between here line. and the beginning of the next, like the beginning uh, of the first I game. Respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it, huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again. No, no, you need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Okay, so back to the lumber yard. It's written, like a lot of this part of the game is the tree is going back and forth from black water. Whoa. This is him. How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? <laughs> how many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut right, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, <laughs> this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Right to Painted Sky. Oh, is this like a race or something? What's going on? I wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. Couldn't find the ranch 
picture, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Let me check the map. Where are we going? Uh, okay. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I do wonder actually, like how he sends that letter to Abigail. Like, how does he know where she is? Because she just up and vanished and didn't leave, like, any indication as to where she was going. But he just sends a letter to her somehow. I don't know. Yeah, it's a weird one. Don't quite understand how that bit worked. Guy up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. <laughs> Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. Uh, uh, you got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Yeah, that must be one hell of a journey. No, where are we? We're actually pretty I close heard. to Valentine. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. 
Oh, shut up! Little travel montage here. And then, there we are, roads. I'm not 100 percent sure how many awards this game won. It's not one of those games. It's not, it's not the type of game that has like you know, won 89 awards uh, on the cover. I think one of the Fallout games does that. It's like okay, like that I guess it won 89 awards, but you know, this doesn't do that. So it must have won quite a bit though. Definitely for soundtrack, if not for gameplay and uh, you know, quality of the game overall. Cortez round the front for me, will you? And the narrative. The narrative must have won a few awards. It's a really good story. Alright, hit Twitch the horse. You did well, boy. Let's get Ramon. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Look how quiet this is. It's not going to stay like that for long, is it? Again, though, gorgeous looking game. Shotgun. That's not bad going. Uh, one coming up here on the left. What was it? Come out! Jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to Saint Denis. 
You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Man, why are we doing his job for us? Like, for him. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. I mean, he, he that sheriff lost him. In fairness. Bounty's being stole yeah. off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez. We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Especially if you're a bounty hunter. Hold up. Down there. The fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Right behind you. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. I'm the best shot there is, lady. Uh, okay, yeah, knife that guy. Hey! Oh, oh, for God's sake.
<laughs> That's the direct way. Yeah, I should probably clarify, these are not the guys I was shooting at through the rifle. Which is probably why they're still alive. Just for my own, you know, pride. Oh god, I'm dead. Ah, and she's dead too. Well, this is not, like, you know, a great arrangement, is it? There's, like, two of us against, what, like, 40 guys? This is only something an, an idiot would do. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. What the hell? I don't understand. Oh my god. This is awkward. Like, at least get into cover, woman. What are you doing? Uh. Although, bizarrely, I never had this problem before. I always got through this quite easily. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I oh god damn it woman what are you doing ah this is so infuriating do not understand how she keeps getting shot do I have to be like really close to her or something is that the secret the only way she survives if I'm if I'm like right next to her to um, shooting my way across Oh, for God's sake, John. Who's up here?
sniper rifle, probably. How many of these guys are there? Crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Let's get out of here. Let's give you some exercise. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. To you! You're gonna say that now? I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got Jeez. gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Yep. First of many. Oh, you! You should've took the money. You should've taken it. Now! Now we're gonna come for you! I promise you that! We're gonna go for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are! Back again! Looks like... No, let's just hope the sheriff can Ooh. keep him this time. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big oh. mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <sighs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. 
See you around, partner. Do I have to travel back to Beaches Hope, or do I ride there anyway? It looks like I'm gonna sort of, yeah, ride there anyway. There you go. Cool. Okay, cool. And yeah, that was fun. Right, well I'm going to call it a day here. I'm riding pretty close to the hour mark. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed. hope you've all enjoyed uh, the walkthrough, so, like, you know, in general, and the commentary, and hope the commentary is a lot better than it was before. Uh, if you wait around for the end screen, you'll get uh, suggestions for stuff to check out on my channel. And if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, do look after yourself, and do take care. See you next time.